tell me about the Ironman competitions. You had a few knee surgeries. You've had some challenges, obviously, with the things that you spoke about. How has that been? You know, how, how has the experience of the Ironman competitions been? Great question. I I got into triathlon early uh, when I when I decided I wanted to start to shift my health because it was a way for me, especially after my knee surgeries. Biking and swimming are very low impact activities on the body that are great cardio and great for your health. Um, running is great too, obviously more impact on the body, but I looked at that as, okay, those are, those are good. Those are good things I can train. And I decided to do an Olympic distance triathlon, which is, you know, less than a mile swim. It's like a, you know, a, a 20 some mile bike ride and then like a six mile run. So I was like, all right, let me sign up for this. I did it, kicked my ass, but it was really cool. And I got the bug. I'm like, huh, I want to do that again. So I did that again with Rob this time. And we kind of caught the bug and we're like, all right, well, maybe we can do double that, which is a half Ironman. Like that sounds crazy, but let's do a couple more Olympics, did a couple more Olympics. And then it became feasible to do half after the first half we were just beat up. We were like, that's crazy. I don't think I'm ever do that again. And I can't even imagine how someone could do a full Ironman, which is double that length. So we're talking a full Ironman is a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, and then a full marathon, 26.2 mile run. And oh my God. <laughs> even just in, in, yeah in one in one day within doing that within 18 hours um it's like oh no the thought of that was like oh that's, that's <laughs> disgusting right and, but we did another couple halves and we we're just like ah you know there's this kind of itch like is it possible sign yeah, up yeah do it and, yeah and we, uh, we just um just this past actually just a month ago november 19th completed my first full iron man six years in the making man it was so beautiful six six years in the making to get to this place and, and something great too. I was love telling people about this goal. Like people are like, Oh, congrats. Like amazing. You're smashing these goals. And I'm like, yes. And this one took me six years to get to, this was not like a one year. Oh, I'm going to do this goal, but you know, a few you get weeks or something notes. Yeah. Totally. But you get more than half a decade, half more than half a decade, brother. And, and really for me, it was, it was a beautiful moment to cross that finish line. It took me 16 hours, but we did it. We got across that finish line. And it was a great, it was a great recognition for just how far I've come in my healing journey and just what's possible for me too. to think about someone that was living in such chronic back pain that I had to sit down or take knees when I would be walking places. And yeah. one that had such distrust in my body that I thought I was going to be in a wheelchair by the time I was 30 years old to then at mm. 29, be able to do something that seems so impossible to me. And so it seems so impossible to so many people, to the average person to complete that and do that. Like, ah, oh, that's what it's about. And that's what I aim to do and inspire people that they can do it as well. Whatever their impossible is that they can define and redefine themselves. And, and again, it can take years to do, but that's what it's about. You make those shifts and you can unlock this next level of yourself, this version of yourself that's just waiting dormant for you.